once you have the business requirements document done, the real question now is, are we going to build this thing, or are we going to acquire the software, or are we going to farm it out to a consulting firm, uh, either for design or, or for programming or for both? Um, so sourcing that third-party solution should always be based on the business requirements. Um, and that comes down to issuing this document. You may want to add some other information in terms of the technical environment it has to reside in, a whole lot of things like that. Now, you want to minimize the tech technology requirements, but you want to be able to say, this is how we visualize this. And you can then send this out to consulting firms to get quotations or do a request for proposal or a request for information and so on. So now just about every organization has their own way of doing that. They have their own standard way of doing it. Um, so I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. Um, instead, you can read about how to really simplify this process in the book on, on sections 10.2. There's two pages. That's how simple it gets at this point. There's two pages. And it'll show you a really easy way of filtering out all the wannabe consultants who really can't do the job and focus on and set a really nice short list. So I encourage you to do that because life can be a whole lot easier. And we have some client organizations who do this all the time as a, as a, as a standard that before they consider building anything, they say the option is, of course, to buy. And after buying, if that's not an option, they look at consulting firms that can bid on it or make some kind of a proposal. The last option for them is to build their own. So whatever your strategy is in your organization, read those two pages and you'll find life can become a whole lot easier when it comes to sourcing solutions from outside the organization.